This is Selwyn Batiste from Computer Fix for you at gmail.com. Again, I want to give a shout out to um, Shane. It's Shane at um, Tweak Scene. Sweet Tweak Scenes. Um, his last suggestion to me was to um, reset all the BIOS. I was having a problem with this Toshiba NBT05, Notebook 205. Um, as you know, it doesn't have a hard drive. So these little things always give people issues. I get them trying to fix them and this one here was giving me a, a, a crazy little error message and it was telling me press F1 but it wasn't allowing me to press F1 well I finally um, replaced the hard drive because that's what that's the issue it was given at first the hard drive was fatally about to uh, crash so I rescued all the data took everything off and I put a brand new hard drive in well as you can see um, for a while it was giving me this error and I kept trying to get the BIOS to set back uh, so I did what he suggested and I went in and I uh, put it back to its default settings and I let the battery drain overnight and it's, you see it's plugged in I let the battery drain overnight and now all of a sudden it booted and it booted into the Windows brand new Windows 7 that I installed on this of course this came with XP so this is the 32 bit um, machine. And the funny part about it is, is now I really see. Um, as you can see, I'm messing with the um, I'm messing with the mouse pad, and the mouse pad is not responding at all. Not responding at all. So the keys are working fine. Mouse pad not responding. So I know I have an issue now with the drivers for the mouse pad um, pointing devices. So I'm going to see what the issue is. Uh, make sure it's connected inside. This is Selma T signing off. Again, thank you, Shane. Tweakscenes.com. Check them out. Tweakscenes.com. Good form. Peace.